Hello, I'm Steve Goodman, and welcome to the short version of episode 31 of the Practical 365 podcast. I'm on my own this week, so I thought I'd do a quick two, three minute version for you to summarise all of the latest news. So, starting with Microsoft Loop. Well, Microsoft Loop is arriving inside Teams right now. Uh, it is the live components feature that's arrived, and as you can see, you can go in now and click on that little loop button down there and add live components. I've been using them today. Day. they're great you can use it in the GA or preview client exchange server um, well it's not been great for exchange oh no uh, there's some critical patches for 2013 and above that you must 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 apply and defender for input plan one is GA so you can see on the screen here we've got differences between the two basically your endpoint protection is included in plan one that is GA but it'll be the new year before it comes into Microsoft 365 E3 plans and you'll still need the plan 2 or e5 for all of the really good stuff in defender for endpoint and robots are among us defender for endpoint is getting uh, some ai based protection to look for weird activity and then be more aggressive with its blocking policies teams is getting some too so ai to rebuild dodgy video so throwing extra packets at it putting in extra keyframes to try and make sure that should there be a network issue then you'll still be able to be seen at the there under your court or video based screen sharing won't just break and viva learning gets sharepoint um now so you can do that in the admin portal create a repo link that to document libraries full of content that's part of the free or included version so you can get that right away authenticator well authenticator is getting some new features so it's rolling out Authenticator, it's always a pain. Uh, if you've got to get people to scan a QR code, no longer will they have to do that. You'll also be able to reset your password in there and it gets us a brand new logo as well. Nice. And user voice is gone, but Microsoft feedback is here. And people are using already 2,912 people as of now have submitted feedback about Microsoft Teams. You could be the next. And Exchange, Outlook, Office, SharePoint 2013, Link 2013, all of them, they've got 18 months left to go, so get ready to move off those versions. If you're one of the lucky few that has deployed them, time to move to Exchange Online. If you're on 2013, I'm sure we've got guides on the site to help you with that. And the Microsoft 365 robot, well, there's lots and lots of stuff. Uh, I'll go through the biggest things right now. Uh, so isolated video feed uh, if you're using hardware or NDI. Uh, you can switch your mirrored video if you don't like to see the other side of you inside teams or selfie view perhaps if you're presenting content like this uh, and you don't want it to be reversed and you'll be able to check in uh, and release rooms from the panels as well uh, like other teams room panel solutions from other vendors uh, if you don't check in in time the room gets released and somebody else can have it qa in teams meetings is in preview now as well intune gets import gpos march 2022 linux desktop compliance i think you'll have to pay for it ubuntu uh, at launch import Port packages for Mac deployment as well next year in March for both of those. OneDrive is going to be available for ARM CPUs and you'll be able to limit OneDrive access for specific users uh, and sharing for specific users as well and organize your add to OneDrive shortcuts. In SharePoint Online, connected templates come, so SharePoint templates as well as team templates as well and in the exchange online admin center well you'll find that the mail flow settings be able to set up your inbound and outbound rules are going from the classic EAC soon you'll be only be able to do those in the main portal so that is the news this week there was quite a lot but of course tune in for the proper podcaster here the long version of it and of course tune in two weeks time for episode 32 with myself and paul robishaw thanks for listening